Today we're using copy and paste to make games on these devices. And if you got a game idea, let me know in the comments below. Where's my copy? So if I'm Hypesy, I make games, play games everywhere. And today we're making Cubert. I love retro games and the original Cubert was released in 1982. The game we're making today, let's make it 3D. I use my iPad and my iPhone to make games with the app that is available on iOS and Android. If you want to know how you can make games, at the end of this video, I'll show you how you can download this app. Step one, planning. Let's watch some gameplay videos and take notes. This will help us identify what we need in our game. We have Cubert, our main character. He can move up, down, left, right. Second object in this game, the block. They change color when Cubert jumps on top of them. Next, there are enemies, the snake who's following Cubert around, and these blobs that drop down and can hit Cubert. Creating the snake logic might be a little tricky, but for the falling blob, that should be easy. We could just have a ball spawn and use gravity while Cubert has to jump out of the way. These elements make up the core gameplay of Cubert. Step two, creating the core mechanics. Open up the app, select start from scratch. I have a confession to make. I don't know how to make the main player mechanic controls, but I know a game that has the controls we want. Let's go into that game, see how the player is able to move in all directions while being able to touch, drag the screen to move the camera. Let's copy and paste. To do this, tap and hold and select the components that we want. We tap this icon, select copy. We go into the new project down on the bottom right, select paste. Let's make sure that the camera and everything works properly. Now let's make this dude look like Cubert by going to the asset library and gluing pieces together. Looks good, let's save. Next, we need that cube that changes colors when the player jumps on it. This is something I know how to do with the collision trigger, broadcaster, and a bunch of different nodes, but I've seen this mechanic before. It would take me more time to create the logic for this game mechanic than it would be to go into another game and copy and paste it. Let's check out this Mario remake by Potato Chan and Vic Vic, creators who have been collaborating together to create amazing games. You can make and play games with other people. Let's check out this mechanic in action. The player jumps on the platform, it changes colors. Let's go into the game, select the remix button, find this container, copy, make some moves, and paste. Here it is in our game. This is a rectangle and we want a cube. Go in and just change how it looks by replacing it with different assets. Now we want to tap and drag these cubes all next to each other to make a pyramid. So copy, copy, copy. It's really easy to make games just using your fingers. Let's play test this and make sure it looks good. The player moving around. If you're enjoying this video, please remember to like and subscribe. That helps the algorithm know what's up. If you have a game idea or concept you would like to see made, leave a comment below. For the last step, we're gonna make the enemies. We'll start with the falling ball. Go to the asset library, grab a ball, change the physics to dynamic, set it to a reusable object. This way we can spawn the ball in the top of the pyramid and use gravity to do the work for us. When the player touches the ball, it'll flash and you'll lose control for about a second. This will give the snake enemy a chance to catch up to Cubert. Now onto the snake. Let's grab these wires, add a dinosaur head onto it. That kind of looks like the snake from Cubert. We can add some features like a rotate node so that the head of the snake is looking at Cubert. And now we can add move node and force node, causing the snake to bounce up towards Cubert every couple of seconds. We'll add a collision trigger so that if the snake touches Cubert, it'll be a game over. For the last step and my favorite, it's polishing. This is where we make sure everything looks 
good and it's working properly. We're also gonna add a timer node system to have a leaderboard that keeps track on who can complete this level the fastest. Add a fun music sound effects, change the color scheme a little bit to make it look more retro cuber. Now the game is finished for anyone to play. Check out this game, the link is in the bio. If you would like to make games on your phone, tablet, or computer, check out Hype Hype. Select the top left hamburger menu, find the download now. You'll see an application form to fill out. Anyone with an email can sign up for the beta program. And when it asks how you heard about Hype Hype, tell them Hypesy sent you, that's me. This will help get your application processed a little bit faster, about two to three business days. When learning to make games, I have lots of videos, so be sure to check those out. Hype Hype has a wiki documentation page, YouTube videos and tutorials to help you get started along with the active Discord community. My favorite thing about Hype Hype, playing games can help you make games, which is phenomenal to see how mechanics are created and built by other players. Until next time, stay safe out there. I'm Hype Seat and peace. Safe. Bugs.